Hello and welcome to the biology topic of reproduction, lesson one, human reproduction. And during this topic, we're going to take a look at the male and female reproductive systems in humans. We're just focusing on humans at this point. So you can see here a diagram of both male and female. What you need to be able to do is label the different parts of each system. And for many of the different parts, you need to know the role that they play. So we're going to take a look at the female reproductive system first. OK, there are many terms that you will probably recognise. So, for example, I would think that you might know the term ovary. Um, you might know the term uterus or womb, and you will probably know the term vagina. It's whether or not you know what each of those do. OK, so we'll start here with the fallopian tubes. OK, you'll see that there's two. Um, it's important to say that there may be some differences between people because not everyone develops two fallopian tubes, for example, and not everyone develops exactly the same number of eggs as everyone else, okay? And not everyone's internally will look exactly the same. So this is just a diagram to give you a representation of it. So if we look at the fallopian tubes first, you can see that there are two tubes and these are linked to the ovaries, okay? So there's an ovary either side. Now the fallopian tube is also known as the oviduct. It links the ovary to the uterus, OK, and it is where fertilisation of the egg takes place. Now, the ovary that you can see attached there, that white sack in the diagram, is where the eggs are produced. And these eggs are also called the ovum. OK, they're produced and stored in there and then they're released, usually on a monthly cycle. OK. Now, we've also got the uterus, so you can see the main part there. The uterus is also known as the womb, and in the uterus, the fertilised egg will embed, okay, a placenta will form, and the fetus will develop, which will eventually develop into the baby. Then if you move down a little bit, you can see there that you've got the cervix. That is quite clearly the entrance to the uterus from the vagina and the cervix stays um, a certain level stays a certain the cervix stays quite small unless the female is preparing for birth and when they are going through that the cervix will widen to allow um, the baby to move out now um, the final part there is the vagina okay so um during copulation that is where the sperm will enter the uterus from from the vagina into the uterus and then they will move up to the fallopian tubes okay they're the main parts you need to know and obviously as we've said um there are eggs within the ovary okay and if you've got two functioning ovaries you can see that you will have an egg released from one one month and then if it's working as per normal should be another one released another month okay we take a look at the male reproductive system and there are several parts here that you need to be aware of. So you can look there, you can see the bladder. We've labelled the bladder because the, the bladder is part of it and is linked also to the urethra, OK, which will be how the urine leaves through the penis. Then you've also got the glands, OK. Those glands there will produce a liquid that will be added to the sperm to make a semen. You've got a sperm duct there and that connects the glands to the testes. OK, so that's how the sperm will travel. They will travel through the sperm duct. All right. You've also got the urethra. And if you look, you can see that the urethra is linked to the bladder. And if we take a look here. So here's the urethra, we've got the bladder up here and we've got the glands linked either side here. Then we've also got the erectile tissue, OK, and that surrounds the urethra. And we've got the testes. Now, in the testes, um, that's where the sperm will be stored. OK, and the scrotum surrounds the testes as like a protective layer. So you've got the testes here. OK, the scrotum surrounds them and that testes is linked by the sperm duct 
Okay, so the sperm will travel up here. Then here, you've got glands that will add a liquid. That will form semen. And semen will travel out through here, okay, and out and exit the penis. Now, also separately to that, obviously, you've got the bladder and urine passes through the urethra as well. Okay, you've got the foreskin here that will protect the tip of the penis. And the whole body of this bit here is what we refer to as the penis. Okay, and that carries the sperm and transfers them during copulation. Okay. So make sure that you know the different parts of both the male and female reproductive system, that you can label them and that you know what they do, what their role is. So, for example, like we've just said, the testes are where the sperm are stored. The scrotum is the bit that surrounds the testes. The role of the penis, the role of the sperm duct. The fact that the urethra is also produced in um, transporting urine out of the body as well as semen. OK, and you need to be able to do the same for male and female, explaining all the different parts and the roles that they have. Right. Now that you've watched this, you need to go and have a look at the worksheet for lesson one. See if you can complete it. Refer back to this video if you need to. We'll see you again very soon for lesson two.